Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We are continuing our Crawl Space Misconception series, and today I want to talk to you about outside drainage, whether you're looking to install a French drain or a downspout uh, extension. Is that enough to keep the crawl space from flooding after it has already started to flood. So there's a lot of different things out there that contractors will do. They'll, they'll tell you that you've got to slope the dirt away from the foundation wall and install a French drain and then get down to the footer of the uh, outside and do an outside waterproofing where you redo the, the uh, foundation drain. And all those things are important. I'm not saying they're not important, but by the time the crawl space begins to flood, Normally, those things will help to minimize the amount of water going into the crawl space, but you may still want to include an interior waterproofing system. We call it a water management system and a sump pump. Now, I'm not against doing downspout extensions. We should do that. You're taking a lot of, of roof water during a heavy rainstorm, and if your downspouts are dumping that water right there by the foundation wall, it typically, especially if you have a block foundation, it is just going to take the path of least resistance and go right into that crawl space and even that basement. What you want to do is you want to do all of those things. If you've got a hill that's coming at the back of your house or the side of your house, you want to make sure you do a curtain drain, probably no more than 12 inches deep if you got clay soil. But as that water comes off that hill, that's surface water most of the time coming off. You want to be able to grab that water and redirect it around the house. You wanna make sure those downspout extensions are extended far enough away from the foundation that they make it to a hill if possible and then go around. We always use the pop-up emitters as we bury them into the ground. And we also use sewer and drain pipe. We don't really care for the corrugated pipe as much and you certainly don't wanna use a perforated corrugated pipe for a downspout extension. That's the type of pipe you would use for a French drain, okay? So make sure you're using different pipes and things like that. But as that water has already made it through the crack of the foundation and everything, just remember that the rainwater that hits around the foundation is still got a chance to go in to the crawl space. Yeah, you're, you're redirecting roof water and you're taking care of the water from the hill, but there's still other water that hits around the yard that can work its way into the crawl space, which is why the interior waterproofing system is so important as it captures that water as it comes into the crawl space, redirects it to the sump pump, and then sump pump that water out of the crawl space. Again, getting it to a downhill section of the home so that the water can drain away from your house. And don't forget about having a good vapor barrier because if you have a loose laid vapor barrier down, it can shift and once the water gets on top of the plastic, it typically can't make its way into that drainage system. If you live in a home that is built in the 60s, 70s, or 80s, you probably got all these issues I'm talking about. You got your neighbor dumping water on you, so you want to do everything you can to redirect that neighbor water and all that but don't forget about the interior waterproofing of the crawl space. Don't let a contractor just talk you into one part of it and not do the other. It is all important if you're taking on a lot of water in your crawl space. I'm Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.